Now we're going to be looking at some past questions so we can see how to apply the concept that we have learned. So for the first question, we are told that a binary operation star defined by x star y is equal to x to the power of y. So if x star 2 is equal to 12 minus x, find the possible values of x. So how do we go about this? So we are told that x operation y is equal to x is power y. And now we are told that what x operation 2 is equal to 12 minus x. So now, based on this expression, we can also evaluate x star 2. And what would that give us? x is power y. So this would give us what? x raised power 2. So now we know that x operation 2 is x squared. And we know that x operation 2 is equal to 12 minus x. So we can equate these two terms together. So we have what? x squared is equal to 12 minus x. So if you call it like times, I'll bring this to the other side. We have a quadratic equation of x squared plus x minus 12 is equal to 0. So we do our factorization normally like we normally do. So 12x times minus 12 give you minus 12x squared. So what two numbers would I multiply together to get minus 12x squared? But when I add them together, I'll get plus 1x. So that'll be what? 4x and minus 3x. 4x times minus 3x gives me minus 12x squared, while 4x minus 3x gives me x. So I replace that with x, which is here. So I have what? x squared plus 4x minus 3x is equal minus 12 is equal to 0. So x is common here, and I'm left with x plus 4. And minus 3 is common here, and I'm left with x plus 4 is equal to 0. So I pick one of these. I have x plus 4 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. So that means x plus 4 is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. So x is either equal to minus 4 or x is equal to 3. So the values, possible values of x are what? 3 or minus 4. So which option corresponds to that? 3 or minus 4 or minus 4 and that is what option C. So the correct option is option C. Now let's move on to the next question. Yeah, we are told that if a binary operation star is defined by x star y is equal to x plus 2y, find 2 star tv star 4. So we are told to find what 2 star the tv star 4. Like as we know, we we'll first deal with what is in the bracket. So we first have to evaluate tv star 4. And we are given that x star y is equal to what? x plus 2y. So we just use that formula. So in this case, my x value will be 3 and my y value will be 4. So that is the same thing as having what? 3 plus 2 into bracket 4. And that will be 3 plus 8, which is equal to 11. So I'll replace 3 star 4 with 11. So what am I left with now? I'm left with 2 operation 11. So the way I go about it is by using this formula also. So I have my x value here will be 2 now and my y value will be 11. So x plus 2 will be 2 plus 2 into bracket, my y which is 11. And I'm left with 2 plus 2 times 11 is 22 and that is equal to 24. So the correct answer is what? Option T. Now let's move on to the next question. Yeah, we are told that an operation is defined by the set of real numbers a star b is equal to a b plus 2 into bracket a plus b plus 1. Find the identity element. As we've been discussing, the identity element a is defined as a star e, where e is the identity element, is equal to a. So here we just replace the b by e. So we have a star e is equal to a. And now we write a star e in terms of the formula given. So a star e with the same thing as here, a star b is a b plus 2 into bracket a plus b plus 1. So a star e will be what? a e plus 2 into bracket a plus e plus 1, then is equals to a. Then I make a this way to formula. So I have a e plus, when I expand, I have 2 a plus 2 e, then plus 2 is equals to a. So I have a e, then plus 2e 
is equals to a then when i bring this over here, i have minus 2a and when i bring this two over here, i have minus 2. so e is common to both of them into bracket a plus e then is equals to a minus 2a gives me what minus a minus 2 so i can factor out the minus so i have e into bracket a plus 2 is equals to minus into bracket a plus 2 if i divide both sides by a plus 2 so this cancels out this so i'm left with what e being equals to what minus 1 because this cancels this and i have a minus so minus times one give me minus 1 so the identity element is minus 1 and the correct option is option c now to the next question so here we have a multiplication table so we are told to find the identity element with respect to the element shown in the table above so as we defined before we said that a for identity element star e is equals to a so the value e here will be the identity element so now we have to look for anything within or operation within that satisfy this condition so let's look at for example p star p so p star p will be equals to what r as we can see as you can see this does not satisfy the equation because the value here is not equals to the value here but let's take a look at q now what is p operation q p operation q is equals to p so we can see that the value here p and the result are the same p is equals to p just as a is equals to a same if you consider q and q we have q operation q to be equals to what q q and q is the same if i have r operation q i have r operation q and if i choose it out r operation q is equals to what r and finally s operation q x operation q is equals to s so i can see here when i have this element here as q the first element is equals to the result so p is p q here is same thing as q as the result half and half corresponds s and s corresponds just as a as and a corresponds here and when this scenario occurs the element in which that value is being operated with is referred to as the identity element so in this case the identity element is what is q because any variable operation q is going to give me that element back so the identity element is q so the correct option is option b q so now let's move on to the last question that we're going to be looking at so here we are told that a binary operation on the set of real numbers is defined by m star n is equals to m n over 2 for all m in which n is a subset of r if the identity element is 2 so we are told that the identity element e now is equals to 2 we are told to find the inverse of minus 5 we are told to find the inverse of minus 5 and if you remember the uh, inverse is denoted as what as b so if you recall to find the inverse a star b is equals to the identity element in which b is the inverse so here we are told to operate find the inverse of minus 5 so my a in this case will be what minus 5 so I have minus 5 star b now is equals to my identity element. And my identity element I've been given in the question to be equals to 2. So now, minus 5 star b can be found with this relationship that is given. In which I'm told that m star n is equals to m n over 2. So minus 5 star b will be equals to what? Minus 5 times b over 2. So that will be equals to 2. And that be what minus 5b is equals to when I cross multiply 2 times 2 will give me 4. And if I divide both sides by minus 5, I have b being equals to minus 4 over 5. So the inverse element is what minus 4 over 5, which is option A. So that wraps up our discussion on binary operation. So I would suggest that if you don't understand anything, that you try to go over the videos again. And I would suggest that you try to work on the exercises that are given so that you'll be able to own your skills to tackling problems that have to do with binary operations. And you can also get more questions in the
past question. So you should try to get a past question and try to tackle questions that are relating to binary operation. So that will be all for now. Bye.